Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Devotions. I uh, appreciate you continuing to journey with me through the fruit of the Spirit. And as we continue to forge ahead of the fruit of the Spirit is love, but then joy in this week. We get to find joy throughout the scriptures, but joy is really always uh, from that outside source, from the Lord, uh, not from our circumstances or from the happiness that we have or blessedness that we have of our lives. And, and that, that joy uh, is something to actually be seen uh, where I'm sitting today. Now, I'm in the darkness of the morning, and I wish that uh, uh, the light that I have before me uh, could shine behind me and be able to uh, open up your sight uh, towards a joyous place. <laughs> the joyous place is sitting behind me. I'm in Joshua's Corner. Joshua's Corner um, is a playground, but also a lunch uh, place uh, right at St. Paul Lutheran Church and School. It's where the younger kids uh, eat their lunch or eat their snacks and then go out onto the playground and it's a place of joy. Uh, yes, a place of happiness, but the, but the sounds of joy. Um, it's one of my most joyous spots because um, I love being able to every so often come over here um, and have a little bit of a lunch. It's a joyful thing uh, to be able to, uh, to eat. And a lot of times in these last years, it's a joyous thing because I get to come and sit and eat lunch or be present with my, my, my uh, boys. And so um, as I have that, uh, then they go out and you can hear the sounds of joy. You can just hear the reality of um, really didn't matter what happened that day, that morning, um, or what maybe will happen in this afternoon. Uh, they get to go out and just be a kid, just be uh, running around and chasing and tagging. And um, there's some sadness uh, sometimes on the playground if people are left out. Uh, but the joy comes when somebody comes near and says, how can I play with you? And being able to take them to a swing or uh, kick the ball with them. And you see that joy uh, come to them from the outside once again. How do we walk in joy, in the spirit of joy? Well, um, the psalmist uh, here in Psalm chapter 100 uh, spoke to that uh, very vividly, very loudly. Um, in being able to say... Uh, that he wants to shout for it because of what the Lord has done. Um, sounds so like kid-like when he writes this psalm of being able to say, he's just giddy. He's just giddy with the, the reality of what the Lord has done for him. Uh, that we, As we live by the spirit of joy, uh, do we live giddy lives? Do we live those lives that just, it doesn't matter what happened in the morning or what's going to happen in the afternoon, but... Uh, the central point of our lives being able to say, I can put a smile on because, wow, God is God. And that brings so much joy into my life because God is God and he's given me another day to be able to just smile. Yes, even through the trials, um, even, uh, to be able to uh, think towards the heavenly realms that we have and being able to know that we, as we uh, walk through that this last video, it is not the day by day. Uh, it's not just the reality of our sinfulness or trials, but no, it's the reality of God dipping into our world and being able to say, man, I just want to smile today and be able to say, God is with me. Let me sing a song of joy. Let me shout for joy and let everybody know around me that my God loves me, that my God loves me so much he sent his son Jesus to sacrifice and die for me. That my God loves me that he says, you're never going to be alone. That my God loves me that he says, heaven is your home. That my God loves me enough to pursue me in my sin, dead in my sins and trespasses, but yet alive to God in Christ Jesus through our baptisms, but through the spirit of faith. That makes me smile. It makes me a little bit giddy that the God of this creation knows me, loves me, created me for this day's purpose. Psalm 100, let's read together. Wish we could sing together. We could, we could hum this together. We could uh, chant this together. But for the sake of the morning, uh, we'll, we'll just read this together. Psalm 100, beginning at verse 1. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. All the earth. Now we're just talking about, yes, now we're speaking human to human here on this video. But shout for joy, all the earth. Shout for joy up to the Lord, all the earth. And Jesus even picked that up and he said, Hey, if you were silent, as you brothers would, would be silent, these stones would, would speak. These stones would give out shouts of joy. All the earth shouts for joy because all the earth is created with a purpose. All the earth 
shouts for joy to the Lord because of what the Lord has done for them. It says, worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. That's something to be joyful about. That God isn't the God of this generation, or God isn't the God of that next generation. He's a God of all generations. That also puts that next generation, as we always speak to in the church of, uh, woe is this next generation. That generation is in the hands of God. We have to sing a joyful noise that his faithfulness is for them. His faithfulness was with us. We sing a joyful song because of the Lord is good. The Lord is good. He's compassionate. He is our shepherd. He brings us into that green pastures. He leads us beside those still waters. He restores our souls. He grants to us the path of everlasting life. And yes, even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, even though the death is always around, we will fear no evil. No, we'll shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth, because of what the Lord has done. Know that the Lord our God, it is he who made us. And it is he who has called us. We are his. Brothers and sisters, Maybe you have the vision of the playground today, the playground of this world, but the playground that I get to see just about every day, and the running around and the just unloading of joy to be able to just have fun, just to have a playground. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Have a breakfast, lunch, or dinner this day, and thank the Lord for his provision. And then go about your day, go about your evening, into this giddiness, this giddiness not of, oh, I can just have fun in life no matter what happens. No, you can have joy in life because of what has happened. A God has loved you. A God has forgiven you. The God of all creation says to you, you're my sheep. I'm going to care for you. No matter life's circumstances, you can have joy knowing that God is with us. He is for us. He is not against us. No, rather, he pursues us leads us into those pastures. Green grass still waters, and he is our God, always. Make a joyful noise to the, to the Lord, all the earth. Doesn't mean you have to sing songs, although it's great to sing songs. Make a joyful noise. Have fun. Be giddy. Be joyful. And the Spirit of God called you by the gospel and has said to you, God is with you anything in life. Have a blessed day, being joyful, being giddy, being, having a childlike faith, knowing that God is for you, with you, always. Jesus loves you, and he always will. Have a joyful day.